Hello again everyone, it's Khalid back from KKCA with Anal and today's video is going to be so interesting because we're going to be doing part 2 of the previous series which is going to be AKG headphones and my friend is going to make the volume rocker and if he's got enough time he's definitely going to do the L pin connector I mean the pin connector because it's not L shape Right bro? Yeah sure Yeah so let's just get to it and you probably want to check out the video description to download the two images to work with this file I mean to work on this project and yeah go go bro so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing that you're gonna do is gonna be very simple you will have to create a cube and to do that you're gonna have go head over to your primitive object and create a cube just like that and yeah another thing is if you want to bring up your reference images uh, you're gonna have to go into panel like this and orthographic view and just go into one of your views i mean like this and press shift and v and then go into back and bring up your image just from here and you're gonna go uh you're gonna do the similar thing for this view and yeah we have a cube so let's make the size of it so i'm gonna go into one of these views right views and then adjust the size so it's approximately good just like that i think this is good i'm gonna do the same for the other view just like that and that's it and now the next thing is going to be to make it an editable an editable object and to do that you can either press c on your keyboard or just click this button right here now let's make the big part to do that i'm going to go into edge mode and select these two uh, edges on the back and go into bevel and to go into bevel you can just right click and select bevel or you can just press the keys on your keyboard ms and yeah make sure you have zero subdivisions and then just start beveling everything <laughs> i mean not everything just like that that's cool and i'm gonna do the same for the for the front edges and just bevel it like this or maybe a little more just about there make sure it's not too much and not too less yep that seems good we have it and yeah we can just leave the bottom part and then then just work on the top part and then just mirror it later so it's easier for us and so in my case i'm gonna do that so let's just uh, go into point mode and rectangular selection and select these points and bring the y make the y position zero to make it the center just like that and now let's start uh, working on the button space to do that i'm going to go in this front view and choose loop cut by pressing kl and create a loop cut right around here we have it and now to make the arc I'm gonna uh, press shift C and search for a tool called polygon pin or you can just press ME and yeah make sure uh, before you do that make sure your crea create semicircle is checked and you, that you have six arc subdivisions and now I'm gonna uh, press and hold on control shift and then just hover my mouse here and then click have it and uh yeah we also need to make these squats so that the geometry is not so messed up so i'm gonna select these uh these points and bring them closer so that it's easier for us to work and yeah you can just delete this bottom and top part we don't really need it so uh let's start working on it i'm gonna go into uh point mode and go uh go into line cut tool or you can just press KK on your keyboard and yeah I'm gonna select single line on and let's start creating quads and yeah um, make sure you you hold shift while you do that so that it's straight start creating quads like that and the same thing for the bottom ones just like that just like that yeah so i guess we're done with this and um we can just bring our points back to where they were 
yeah just like these points make the y position zero and that's it have it and now uh, we can we can make the top part to do that i'm gonna go into edge mode and just a double click on this edge loop to select it to select it go into one of our views so that we can see what we're working on and hold control and then just drag it just like that or before you can just move it a little bit up because i think it should be up okay so i'm just gonna this is good and hold control while you drag it and then just drag it here and i'm gonna scale it down just like that because it's gonna be an inner part so that's it i'm gonna do the same thing again just like that scale it and drag again and scale it and yeah let me go into the other view to make sure it's proper it's good and proper yep i think this is good and yeah you don't really need to worry about this uh shading problem we're gonna put it in subdivision surface and it's gonna be sold up yep so now uh the top part is gonna be round because it, there's gonna be a wire coming out of it so let's just try to make it round and for that i'm just gonna uh select these points and then just move them around just adjust them just like that you know nothing complicated i don't even think you guys need me to show it to you but i'm gonna do it anyway because that's what i'm here for right okay this is looking nice and now just select this loop and scale it and hold control while you scale it just like that and then just push it in and hold control yeah hold it down just like that cool now we have our part and everything's looking good yeah So now what we can do is we can uh, work on the button now and to do that I'm just gonna go into light mode select these polygons and right click and split just like that so we can just push it outwards and let me just name it so it's confusing yep we have it and let's just un unhide this because we don't really need it for now all right so let's start working on the button and we're gonna mirror it later too so we don't really need to worry about the bottom part and i'm gonna bring the points closer to make it easier for us to work on yep i'm gonna press kk and then just in the point mode just connect this with this I'm gonna go into one of our views front view and KL and create some loop cuts one here one here and two here okay we have it now I'm gonna select these polygons and wait let's push them inwards just like that or even a little bit more yep and let's select these points again make the y position zero to bring them to the center to the center yeah 
and now we are ready to extrude it so to extrude it just go into polygon mode select all of it right click and extrude and yeah uh, make sure create caps is on now let's extrude it and we see that this uh, edge is a little bit messed up so let's just double click select the edge loop and make the y size zero it's uh, size not position just like that so everything's looking good now i think yep and i think we can even mirror it now so before you mirror yeah before you mirror just make sure that you select the bottom polygons select that and delete them and now to mirror just select all of it and uh, you can search for mirror and yeah make sure you choose this one because there are so many mirrors and uh, the the shortcut is image and yeah make sure uh, the mirror plane is set to xc then just mirror it that's all we have our button nice looking button <laughs> okay so now let's make let's make the plus sign because we didn't really do that and yeah uh, we also don't really need uh, ul edge mode we also don't really need this edge so right click and dissolve it good good yeah let's work on the plus sign kl and make some cuts around around here you can just eyeball it and adjust it later let's adjust the cuts now that we created I think the bottom one is I think the top one is too big so I'm just gonna select it select all of it okay and then bring it a little bit down so that it's good I mean good <laughs> cool and good good okay and yeah one more thing let's just make it adjusted so select these points and same and scale them bring them closer so that it's more like plus i think this is looking good and yeah uh we need to do one more thing too because i think it's a little bit too much bring them a little bit down okay good now we're good yep and now we're ready to extrude it so to do that you can just select this select the plus two move to and hold control while you do that and push it in the z direction i think this much is good or you can even push it up a little bit more cool so now let's make some subdivisions and to do that i'm gonna go into ub edge mode select these ms and let's have two subdivisions or maybe three yep three and just do it accordingly accordingly yeah and select this loop uh, loop and do the same good and the same for the minus sign uh, do the inner part in first and you don't really need the, these edges so just hold control and select them and yeah let's go bevel it bevel everything everything you find just bevel it bevel 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 and bevel 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 everything <laughs> one more thing just yeah just choose these I mean select these the same for the bottom ones bottom ones and bevel them too or you can add two subdivisions it doesn't really matter it's gonna be very small yeah everything's looking good yep yeah let's bevel the outer loop too just select it from here 
and bevel it. And yeah, make sure the bevel is not too much. Just like that. It's good. So we have our button done and we're ready to work on the volume rocker now. Let's unhide it and hide this. Yeah, we need to first make some space for the button. To do that, select these polygons and hold control and push it inwards. Just like that. Yep, and next thing is to select all of these polygons MH, mirror, XZ, and then, oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Yeah, make sure this is very important. So, just delete these faces and check the bottom. Yeah, make sure there's no face at the bottom. And yeah, so now we're ready to mirror it. So select all of it and edge click mirror. Perfect. Yep. Now uh, we are going to put it inside the subdivision surface. Surface. And this is the subdivision surface. So just put this volume rocker inside. And we can see that we need some sharpening. And to do that, I'm just going to disable it, press Q, and let's work on the sharpening. Let's select UB, go into edge mode, char sharpen this first, and MF, and two subdivisions, click. Now I'm going to select both of these, and then scale them in the Z direction, direction, and this should be good right about here. Yep. Let's try to see. Yeah, perfect. So we have it. Now let's create sh some sharpening here too. It's like this. And S. And make sure you have... Yeah, 2 is good. 2 is always good. And make sure it's very little, not so much. Well, let's just work on the on these ones first. Yep. MS. Very little. Just like that. Yeah, these edges, these loops are a little bit messed up, so it's like them and make the wipe size zero. Same for. Sorry. Oh, oops. Same for this. Same for this. Same for this. Perfect. Let's create some sharpening here too. MS and the same thing. I'm working too fast, I guess. Let's try to see with the subdivision surface. Look at it. Is it not looking so nice now? I think it's awesome. And yeah, uh, shit, we had to do the mirror later, but I'll need to create some sharpening here too. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward the video. So yeah, just do the sharpening and then, then mirror it. Okay, guys. I'm sorry for that. It's gonna be very quick, I promise. For me, I mean. Yeah, let's go here, here, MS. Perfect. Now look at the magic. Look at the magic of subdivision surface. Okay, now we have our space for the button. So let's unhide the button and let's click the button and push it inside. Just like that. And let's scale it down because it's going to be a button not just something fake so let's scale it in the x direction and it's good yep let's do the same for the y direction or you can if you uh, yeah you can just zoom in and just 
just like this just keep the light on and then just hold and it's gonna work yep you can select them again so it's looking good to me let's push it a bit further in yep and i think this is looking good and we can actually uh try to uh add subdivision to it too let's see what's gonna happen and press na for smooth shading shading i think this is looking good yep it's looking good is it not and you, you don't really need to worry about this too much because it's going to be very small just as i said before and yeah you will have to take the size i mean because i think this is a little bit too much so just make sure and everything is looking just perfect i guess so yeah i think this is it so it's a little bit unexpected but i just took control and i'm going to be doing this last part of the pin so you know just download the photo and put it here in the front view and from here on it's going to be so easy and simple just create a cylinder try to match this and it's obviously a little bit offset so just go to the back and move the offset of the x a little bit like that right and we just want to have one height segment because we're going to create the other cuts later on and i think 16 uh, rotational segments are quite good and yeah this should be here a little bit larger and just go to the geometry and select this bottom face delete it because I really hate those and then do control drag down make it smaller do control drag down make it smaller again Control again and yep it's looking all beautiful right from here on now gonna do things this way so easy and simple okay delete all of that then select this loop by double clicking and then control T scale it so that it becomes somewhat the size of that and then control drag it upwards and then just drag it upwards again and then control drag upwards let me just release your mouse to create these cuts control drag upwards then control drag upwards and the same the same and the same and then the same finally the same for this one too and once you're here pretty much just want to do this close this and because they are like this we can just do like close polygon hole all right and from here on it's gonna be easy just connect this one this one this with this this with that, this with that, this with that, this with that, and now we have all quads. See, that's so beautiful. And now what we want to do is going to be fairly simple. Just click on UL, select this loop cut. I believe, yeah, that one. No, 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 not that one. This one, and this one and this one and then click on t control drag inwards and be sure to deselect the y okay this is looking great i like it and then just go to this edge here click on t scale down then go to this one scale it down too add some bevel to it so ms and just add some bevel to it like so 
I believe adding one subdivision or two is not gonna hurt. Okay, two, double click, and then move your mouse, double click, move your mouse. And that's looking pretty realistic for now. I believe so. Or maybe we just want the edges around here to be a little bit sharp, actually. So again, MS, just make it like that. This one too. This one too. Okay, it's much more better now. And then just select this bottom edge loop and then control T. Let's get it down, E, let's get it up, and then add some bevel here and there, MS, perfect, very quick and easy.